so today I'm with my mom. We are in St. Michael's. This is her first time here, so hopefully she enjoys it and she likes it. Mama, what do you think so far? It's so beautiful. It's so nice, right? The flowers are so pretty. Look at all the pretty flowers here. So pretty. And you have the marina in the back here. So we have all the boats. And we're just going to walk around and sightsee. Welcome to St. Michael's guys. If you have never been here before or never even heard of this place but have been looking for a nice quiet and clean place to visit that is full of friendly people, a town full of history and things to do then you must put this small coastal town of Maryland on your list of places to visit for a weekend or a week. I first visited the eastern shore this year back in January and surprisingly the weather was great and I've made a quick little vlog about it so please check it out after this one but first if you haven't already done so make sure to subscribe and get your notifications on as i post every fridays and some saturdays so this week the area was very flooded so as you can see you can see a little bit of water here so when it rains here it gets pretty flooded once in a while it looks like a completely new one mm -hmm. yeah because they, they keep it clean all the time So St. Michael's is a historic little town in the eastern shore of Maryland, right on the Chesapeake Bay, and there are other rivers that connect to it. Maryland's eastern shore towns of St. Michael's, Easton, and Oxford have quickly become my all-time favorite spots to vacation to locally all year long for so many reasons. Number one, it's very quiet and peaceful. The people are so friendly and helpful. There are no French franchise restaurants, so McDonald's, KFC, or Starbucks. If you're looking for it, you're not going to find one. Everything here is local. They have a lot of farms that are very strict about being organic, meaning they don't use pesticides or any other additives when farming. It is also a very historic town that dates back centuries and it has played an important role in the making of today's United States. Below is a link to the history of St. Michael's. Definitely check it out. The site is also great for all kinds of information on where to stay, what to do here, shopping, restaurants, events, and even real estate in case you love it so much here you want to purchase a home. So this is Crab Claw Restaurant. We're not going to eat here but we're just going to pass by and keep walking around. They have a nice outdoor seating. The outdoor seating here. little restaurant here by the water called Crab Claw Restaurant. You can have cocktails and eat your crabs and have a beautiful gorgeous view of the Chesapeake Bay here. Look at this. We're slightly overcasted. There's just a little bit of sun trying to come out of the between those clouds but look at this. It looks so beautiful and so peaceful. All right, we have found a way to get to the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. So we're going to get here and we're going to check out the grounds. There's a fundraising event going on, but we uh, we have been allowed to walk around. Uh, it's actually okay to do that. They just closed some parts of it, but this side where you can park is open. So we're going to walk and we're going to get to the lighthouse. It's a very cool lighthouse that dates back to the 18 or 1700s. So let's go and check it out happening here today we didn't buy the tickets because we came here we did not expect anything but they're organizing it starts at five o'clock but we're just gonna pass through 
Look at the Lulu Tower. Look at the water and just check it out. Two, three, check. That's better. So we're going to climb the lighthouse. It's the lighthouse museum. So we're going to take a look at it. Mama, you okay? Yeah. One, two, three, step two. how people used to live here they would have their food here look at that biscuits some fish watermelon this is where they did the dishes right mm -hmm. wash the dishes and, and this is all original from back in the day What is this here? These weights were used to drive the fog bell ringer on the floor above. The ringer had to be wound every two hours during fog or snow, and each cast iron disc weighs about a hundred pounds. That's some heavy stuff. Here, this is where they kept their dishes and their pots and pans and other stuff.
up these stairs very carefully. It goes even higher. So this is our first stop. Oh, it's very warm in here. Very, very warm and stuffy in here. So we're gonna go up some more and see what's upstairs. You go first, Mama. No. Let's look in here. That's another one. You coming, Mama? Yeah. Why not? So now we're all the way at the top where we can see. Here we're gonna go under here. Here we are. So this is all St. Michael. The town is surrounded by the Miles River, which used to be called St. Michael's River, but the earliest settlers who were the Quakers around 1600 persisted in dropping the name Saint as they didn't believe in that. So what do you think, Mama? Very nice. Yeah. Over again. Wait, this is awesome. Woodbridge, где то тут. Наверное, So you have a nice little garden here, a little seating area where you can just sit and relax and just enjoy the beautiful views and the trees and the flowers. As you can see you have public restrooms here at the top of the street so right there you have some public restrooms
And as I've mentioned before, this is a very nice and friendly place. So most places will allow you to use a bathroom, you know, especially in case of an emergency or you have little ones that need to use a bathroom. So you can just walk into a restaurant or a store and just nicely ask if you could use the restroom. If it's available, they will definitely let you use it. See, nice area. You can just sit here. Does she know who Frederick Douglass is? All right, guys, we are coming to the end of our little walk around town. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed St. Michael's. But let me know what you really think of it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop a comment. And of course, don't be shy. Drop a like as it helps the channel. And share this video and the channel with anyone. It's always appreciated. So thank you so much for watching until the end. Until next time, please take care of yourself and have fun. Like, look at it. The door automatically shuts up. She's already.